guys, so today I am going to be doing a video on everything that I bought when I was away in California and in Oregon. So for any of you that do not know, um, Oregon is um, obviously a state, but in Oregon they don't actually have sales tax. And in Canada, where I live in Vancouver, I think for our sales tax is, I think it's 13%, which is a lot when you think about it. Uh, I'll go through everything that I purchased before like through and then um, I'll probably show you a few souvenirs of my Disney trip as well. Of course if you like these videos give it a thumbs up so I know so I can continue to make more of them. If you are new to my channel thank you for joining us and if, and if you are not new welcome back and thanks for joining us. If you have not already please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you're getting the notifications of when my upcoming videos are coming out. We all went to the Santa Monica Pier and I obviously figured I would get something. It was the first time I'd ever been there so I picked this up. This is a magnet. Anyway, so we went to the Dollar Tree quite a bit. There was a lot of things because it was a road trip and we needed things and they were like, there was something that would come up like we needed band-aids so me and my sister and our friend would get in the car and go to find a Dollar Tree while we were driving or things like that. So these two items here are ones I think I'm going to use as a water bottle. It's like this. It's just like a, this is scratched a little bit but I'm putting something on it so it won't really matter. I like the fact that it kind of looked like an oil slick which is the reason why I picked it up. I am going to use these for a craft. So then I picked this one up. This is one of just like those regular water cups. Both of them will eventually have something on them. So stay tuned for videos of that. If you want to see videos of me actually making these look really cool, leave me a comment in the comments below. Then I picked up these here. This is, I, I realize that they are from a dollar store. So I don't know how well any of these are going to work. So um, I picked this up here and this is a facial scrub. It's got coconut oil and sea salt and obviously it's a facial scrub. I was a little weary about buying a face wash from a dollar store only because I am a little bit picky about what I put on my face. But it says it's paraben free and color free and I looked at the ingredients and they look kind of similar to some of my higher end facial scrubs. Then also I picked up, these are facial wipes. They're from the same brand. I don't know those brands right here, but I figured facial wipes can't really go wrong. 30, 30 for a dollar. So I guess a dollar, whatever the tax was, but so I picked those up and I actually bought another one of these that I actually use on the trip and I actually really enjoy these. These are really nice. They take makeup off, makeup off quite well. And then I picked up two of these. These are um, from the same brand, so whatever that is. Um, and these are cleansing watermelon mint facial wipes. These are for rejuvenation, so I love the smell of watermelon. Watermelon and coconut are one of my favorite smells, so. And of course, pineapple. So then there were these ones. So these, I also have these ones, and these are pineapple coconut lime ones, and these are really good. These are all supposed to be for something different, so this is supposed to be for new. Nutrition and this one's supposed to be for revitalizing. So these ones smell amazing. I think everything else is either makeup or stuff from Oregon. So I didn't buy really anything else in California or anything like that. We were going We were gonna go to the Rodeo Drive and just like kinda walk along that, but then we never really actually did. That was um the day after the party that we went to, so we kind of just chilled by the beat or by the pool and got a tan, pretty much. So then, also in the Oregon outlets, there is a store called Perfume Perfume Mania, I think it's called. Yep, and there they were having a sale on, and it was buy one get one fifty percent off. But in the Oregon outlets that we went to, there are two different stores and I walked into the one store and one of the perfumes that I wanted to purchase, he was like, oh, it's fifty dollars, and I was like, what? And um, that's the same price here. Everything I find other than electronics is a lot cheaper in the States. So I was like, that's a bit crazy because that is what I spend on the perfume normally in Canada. So I was like, that is not a good sale. So I went to the other one and when I walked in, they were like, oh yeah, it's buy one, get one 50% off. And I was like, okay. So the two perfumes that I picked up are this one here. So this is, of course, Paris Hilton Siren and this is one of my favorite perfumes. I know it's hard to find because in Canada they don't sell it anymore. This is what the bottle looks like. 
This is the bigger one. And then I have this one here. And this is the Ariana Grande. So it's a sweet candy. And this one I actually got a sample for a while ago. And I absolutely loved it. It smelled really good on my skin. And I just loved how sweet it smelled. I realize it's a very, very fruit like sweet like candy smell which I definitely don't hate so there was that and I don't know if you guys want to see this but I picked up some stuff at coach <laughs> I have an obsession with coach I don't know why we walked into coach and the first thing the lady goes to me is everything is 70% off and I was like pardon me and she's like, you came at a really good deal. It's our, I don't know, special sale and everything is 70% off. So then I was like, okay, so my, this is what I do because I'm frugal, let's just say. I always go straight to the back where their the clearance is there and I go straight to the clearance section. First thing I do, I walk in and go straight to the clearance. Because usually it's like 60% off, 50 to 60% off. And I'm like, that I can see, okay. So then, so when she was like, everything 70% off, I was like, what? Okay. I Then I was like, all right, we'll see how this works. And I walk into the clearance section, which is usually at the back of the store. And I walk in and I'm standing there looking at some signs and I was a little confused. And so I just kind of was like thinking about it and I was like, well, okay, we'll figure this out. So there was a sign that said 20% off. And I was like, I thought everything was supposed to be 70% off. And it just didn't say additional 20, it just said 20% off. And I was like, super confused a little bit. It doesn't really, you know, it was really early. It was the first store we went to. <laughs> we always, I always hit coach first because I have a budget of how much money I can spend and coach just, I spend money there because I like purses. <laughs> so the lady came over and she was like, um, do you need any help with anything? And I was like, okay, so the lady at the front said that everything was 70% off. And she goes, yeah, I'm like, but there's a 20% off sign. And she's like, yes. So what happens? She goes, so everything's 70% off. And then in this clearance section, it's 20% off that. And I was like, huh? So I picked up two purses. So this one obviously is this one. And I picked this one up because I needed something smaller when I was actually going through my stuff looking for a purse to bring with on this vacation. I couldn't find a small purse. This is a crossbody one. I picked it up so it could be a crossbody bag, which, and it's small, so like I could put it, and then I could also use it just by the handles if I need to. And then I picked up one more. It's obviously a light purple. It looks kind of bluey because of my backdrop, but it's a light purple purse. It has the zipper right on the back, which I love. I love when purses have zippers on the back so I can just stick my cell phone in there. It's got one of these. And then it also has the crossbody one, which is, I only really use those now. So now on to the fun stuff. Morphe! <laughs> um, so I made it very clear that if we were going to California and um, my friends that we are we're visiting, lived in the area uh, closer to Burbank. Our hotel was actually quite close to Burbank, which was really nice. So I made it very clear that if we were going down to LA, near the area and we were driving, we needed to go to Morphe because, well, I like Morphe and some of this stuff isn't Morphe, but I'll go through the stuff that is first and then I'll, okay. So first up, I picked up this sponge here and this is, I just needed a new beauty blender. So the, so I picked this one up and I'll go through this a little bit faster so it's not like crazy because this video is going to be uber long and then I picked up three of these these are the continuous setting sprays I bought one at Ulta a little while ago and I have not been able to put it down since these are phenomenal. I They are a really, really, really light mist and they work really good. My makeup doesn't come off. They are perfect. So I picked up three. Then I picked up lashes. So there are two sets of lashes. So there are these ones and then these ones. And I didn't realize that Morphe actually made lashes as well. There was another brand too, but these ones were really, really cute. And I was like, they were they were $4 for lashes. And I was like, I was floored because they are really nice and wispy and 
They're a little bit different. This one's a bit thinner than these ones are, but yeah. So those are the lashes that I picked up. This, and this isn't actually technically a Morphe. It's something, um, Ellie May, I think it's called. This is a brush cleaner, and um, I saw this, and I was like, okay, this is a, the unicorn one. And I saw this, and I was like, oh, I need that. I don't know how well it's going to clean with the sparkles and stuff in it, so we shall see. So I picked up, so to be perfectly honest, I actually walked in with a list of brushes that I wanted to purchase. I did know I wanted to pick up one of these, but I did have a list of brushes I wanted to buy. There wasn't really anything else that I was like dead set on picking up other than the setting spray, but I did need to buy some brushes and there was one that I couldn't find, so I ended up asking the lady and she said these ones were the closest ones to them and it's a highlighting brush, so I picked up these two. So this one first is the R36 and it's a highlighting brush. And then this one here is the M51 and it is quite similar. This is a bit denser than this one. This is a little bit softer, but those are the ones that she said were the closest and to the one that I picked up. Um, the one that I wanted actually had come in a uh, Morphe Me subscription, so I probably, it's probably discontinued, so then there are those. And then these three are eyeshadow blending brushes, and I have a problem. I love eyeshadow blending brushes. I don't think you can have enough of them. So this one is the M330, and it's just, just a blending, eyeshadow blending brush. This is a bit fluffier. And this one is the R40 and I really wanted to make sure that I had a bigger, fluffier brush. And then this one is the M454, M454, and another eyeshadow blending brush. I picked up those five brushes. This here. This is the Brett Rock. I think it's Brett Rock. Brett, Brettman Rock, I think his name is. I don't, I don't know. This is his Babe in Paradise collab, and it is a highlighter palette. It, this is old, it's not new. Um, it's This is what it looks like. And it also came with a fan brush, which looks like that. I'm not gonna really use that, but um, I have used it once. I picked it out and I used it for a party that I went to, but I was super looking at the, I wasn't gonna purchase this and I looked at it when I was there and I was able to do some swatches and I was like, ooh. I love some of these colors. And then I also picked up the, the 15B, and this is called Brunch Babe. And this is what it looks like. I saw some of these pinks and I was like, oh, I really, really want this. And then of course, I had to pick up one more eyeshadow palette, and this is the 15D, and it's called Day Slayer. And when I saw this, I was like, ooh wee. These, I think, are gonna be great palettes for traveling because they're hard and there's a mirror in them. They're, I think Morphe's kind of stepping up their game for sure. I really think that these palettes will work a lot better than their 30, their 35 ones, because that was everything I picked up at Morphe. So there was this cute store here. There, this is it here. This is all their information. It was super cute, but I purchased this here. This is the Peter Pan collection. This is the Golden Sand Bronze. I think, yeah. Mermaid Lagoon Golden Sand Bronze. This is a bronzer. And this is what it looks like. This is the back. This here flips up like this. And then there is like the Mermaid Lagoon here. And then this is what it looks like. When I saw this, I was like, I have to have this. I love Peter Pan, and it was just after Disneyland. It was like literally one of the stores after Disneyland that we went to, and I'm probably just keeping the packaging because it's super cute. There's like the mermaid on the back from Peter Pan. That is that. They also gave me a free, shoot, a free sample, and this here is Brightening Vanilla, French Vanilla Powder. It's translucent, so it comes with like a little pop, and then it comes with this like thing right here where it flips up, so. I have four more items to show you and they all came from a store in Oregon and I think it was called the Beauty Company. Yeah, it's called the Beauty Company and it obviously was an outlet store. So 
When I walked in, I I was very excited. They were having a pretty decent sale, so I'm just gonna show you what I picked up. So I picked this up here, and this is from Glam Glow, obviously. This is their highlighting palette. I think it's called Glow Powder, yeah. There are three highlighters. They had this out, and I didn't even see it at first. I friend was like, oh, I really thought, was, I thought about buying this too, but she didn't. She didn't get it, but this is what it looks like. These are beautiful. This is an interesting plastic. Like, I think it's crazy cool. It's just like this really cool plastic. It's great packaging. And then they had this here, and I was so excited. This is MAC, and this is the Patrick Star Glow Getter palette. So, these are the colors. I am so excited for these. I did a look my first day back from work and I did use them and I love this palette. And then I picked up this here and this is the Too Faced Born This Way. I was a little, cons not concerned, but I was like, why would it be at the beauty outlet store when they still sell them? So I don't know if it was, I, I'm not gonna ask. This is in warm medium. I picked it up because it matches my skin kind of now, because I'm obviously a bit more tanned because of California. This is what it looks like. Obviously everyone has seen them, but I really wanted to try it out. And I wanted to try it out before I left, and when I saw it, I was like, oh, I might as well. So this here is, what it, so it blends in quite well. So it'll be nice. It'll be a little bit lighter than my skin now, so there's that. And then I picked this up. Okay, so this is from Tom Ford. It's called Sun Worship, and I was super ecstatic to see one of these. This is the only Tom Ford I own, and it's because I got it on sale. So this is what it looks like, and it goes like this, and so you use this gel consistency, and you put it on, and then you put the eyeshadow on top of it, which you pop this up. I'm sure you've probably seen these already, but, and then that is the eyeshadow. So here, you're supposed to put on and then put this on and it's supposed to make it pop. So I was really excited to buy that one. Well, that was everything for this huge haul that I bought on this vacation. Hope you guys have a great day, bye.